Welcome back, everyone. Today we have the Bubble Point game, and it was made by uh, Michael De La Maza. And you can go out to the Miroverse and get this template, or the link to the Miroverse where this template is is on will be in the description below. Uh, but yes, you can visit it there. And of course, as always, like and subscribe. Today, of course, I can't do this without my awesome players. I have uh, Tim, Dicky, Tim Nolan, Sweta, uh, I forget her last name, M. Mystery. <laughs> Miss Mystery. It's and uh, Steve, Steve Frazier. And uh, thank you all for, for joining us again, being my awesome players, and help us every time we come here, guys. We try to demonstrate an ideal version of the gameplay as best we can so that you can take these back to your teams and learn and grow. And, of course, all the rules will be in the description as well as the uh, – the links to the templates of course you also have links to support me as well over here and uh of course subscribe to the channel you can buy me a coffee or you can uh now i'm an affiliate of the flow system and so you can if you want to get this awesome training uh great breadth and depth of knowledge uh, you can go and do that and we have different plans there and a code do the thing uh but without further ado let's get started on michael de la maza's game It is called the bubble point game. And one of the core principles of agile is that teams become more efficient by regularly reflecting on how they're working together. So the learning objectives, of course, are how to iterate on your descriptions, examine your decision-making process together. And the instructions uh, are every sprint, remove the number of circles indicated in the numbers of circles column, which is right here. So the first round, we're gonna be removing five on sprint one. And these are not really timed. This is more about decision making and how we're going to make these decisions together. Um, provide your best description of the picture under the description tab. So we're going to remove these five circles. Then we're going to uh, write a description, which I feel like he already kind of answers us here. So I'm not sure exactly. Um, yeah, anyways, I guess that's that the, a team came up with that description. And then our your decision making progress process, and so write those there. So yeah, so describe your decision making process in the decision process, if that made any sense. Anyways, um, so we're gonna get started here. We're gonna try this. We're bring everyone to me over to the right here to this one, and uh, I have to hit this thing. Bring everyone to me. Just because I have that control. I love that control. Anyways, so first round, we have to remove five circles. And we have to describe what we see under here. So how do we want to remove these five circles? Do we just want to remove the biggest ones? or We have five people here. So actually, we can all remove one circle if we wanted to. Everybody oh, take a turn. Okay. Right. Well, I think we should. Whoops. Darn it. You should move like Dang it, Frazier, you're supposed to remove circles, not the text. I think we should move like these four, the big four ones in the center. Like this one? Is that right. one of them? Yeah, the ones I've got selected there. I can't see that. You can't see it? These ones. Well, oh, I can one. tell that this is a playground and it's a child's merry-go-round. So... Are we? Are you supposed to just do it, or are we trying to decide then do it? I, th well, I think each sprint we have to guess what the picture is after we remove five circles. So are we just like people are removing circles? Do we? I thought we decided. We... I'm sorry. Yeah. Three, and back. then do it. Everybody grab a like... circle and move on. Is that what we decided to do? All right. That series is making fine. Come back. Okay. Hey, note to the audience, can, can you tell who the alphas in this game are? <laughs> Just saying. What? Okay, so I've moved mine. Who has who's not removed theirs? I'm going to hold out, man. I didn't vote for this. I'll this is not democracy. No worries. I did. There we go. Fine. Okay. Oh! <laughs> wow. I'm glad we not playing the psychological safety game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, all right, so. Description. What's our unanimous description of what this is under here? That's a merry-go-round. I too see a man in a the playground. There's no man in the playground. It's a merry-go-round. It's a child's merry-go-round. All right. So it's a it's a 
So do we collectively make the decision? That's a good question. Are we, Shweti, be really quiet. <laughs> Provide your best description, your best description. So right. that, that should be clarified in the instructions, hopefully, if uh, Michael's listening. maybe we well, can. Why don't we do this as a team? So what do we think? It, I mean, let's talk it through and then somebody write the description. I'll be the scribe. As a child. Boy being flung around by someone bigger. Man punching a child flying through the air. It's I not. I think that's a child a superhero. It's a child riding a merry-go-round in a playground. I'm seeing a problem with perspectives here. <laughs> All right. So we, can we collectively say that there is a man, there's a playground, and there's a child? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's good. I think I think the man is going so fast he's the kid is being flung out. All right. Well, can we leave those theories for this looks dangerous. It just reminds me of um the original Superman when he's flying on a table and he's coming in and he grabs someone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> looks like all right. And, so our decision make making progress became take whatever circle you want and move it. It's fast. First. No, I think our decision was we took we did the big ones. And by the way, it's centrifugal of force at work. Would you say, Fraser? I'm sorry, I cut you off. I said it became the anarchy of moving the first three five people to move circles got to move circles. <laughs> and some of us just chose to abstain because we're libertarians. <laughs> You're not my boss. You can't make me move a circle. Move you lose. That's some people terrible. withheld. All right. Is that can I can I say that? Is that accurate? Yes, it is accurate. <laughs> it is, <laughs> is it, it is accurate, accurate? at okay. least at least based on the context and what people might be able to perceive if they are not looking closely at the picture. Hopefully someone is judging this and watching this that that is accurate. Um but did fall try to do this space to five circles. So that was good. All right. So now, what is going to be our decision-making process to remove five more circles in Sprint Two? I would like to suggest that we localize on the grip between the man and the child. Okay, so we can. I, like, move. I want the man's face too. I don't give two rips about the man's face. I just want to see the activity and how centrifugal force is applying to flinging the boy around. I feel like we can see hands, although it looks like one's coming off. Maybe you he's throwing them. You want to do the three kind of around here, and then maybe one, two, two big ones over here? Never three. trust the guy who used to Im Im analyze imagery for the military. Don't trust him. He's so, okay, dark. well, Tim, to your point, like you said, <laughs> can we move these three over here? I mean, yes, I made a suggestion. I said, uh, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> my, all right. I said these three. Are we, are we good right. with removing those three? Do you three? want to move all five? Do you want to move like three? Okay, and then, I'm getting like, nods. I'm getting nods. nods. I'm removing. I'm not moving the picture. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not moving. The picture is not locked again. <laughs> So they may agree on these three. That's the easy way to do it. Just move the picture. No one objected. <laughs> if you're watching this and we and we have uh I forget the guy's name. Michael De La Maza, like if he's watching this, we're just like we we've now broken yeah. it. We've decided to move the picture instead. I wanna see <laughs> I wanna see like I wanna see like this one or this one. I just wanna see what's under there in case it's a surprise. Yeah, there might be a whole other person under that's, there. That's that. That's perfectly acceptable. At least we know that there's a div, an application of centrifugal force them. now. All right. All right. No one there doing anything, so that's that's important information. And the last one uh, it doesn't matter to me. I say we remove this one. I feel like there could be something in the background. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Just yeah, more big information. Okay. Are we are we cool on that? I just yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Not too late. No issue. <laughs> All right. There is a tree. I uncovered a tree. All right. So we now have, uh, what do we want to describe this? A boy holding onto a man's hand due to the proper application of centrifugal force on a merry-go-round. So you want to have a shorter explanation or want to weigh in on that? Um, oh, it looks like that kid's arm must hurt. 
Yeah. <laughs> he is not going to be so happy in can, the morning. Like, you can see, if, you zoom, terrified. if you zoom in and look at the angle of his arm, I'm like, my God. Yeah. That's not the good. Yeah, pixelation. I can't tell if he's happy or not. No, um, yeah, he is terrified. <laughs> I'm dialing 911 right now. <laughs> but how do we want to interpret this? A boy is. Where's his mask? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A boy is being flung around by a man <laughs> in the park. Yeah. yeah. Terrified boy. Like terrified boy. Name. I would almost say terrified boy. A terrified boy. <laughs> Adjectives are important. <laughs> All right. Our process. Remove three. Um, we, we remove three localized circles, small localized circles, to reveal the boy. And then two larger circles to reveal any any sort of background information that might help clarify our assessment. Yeah. yeah. No, I think we need to see the man's face because oh, is he angry or happy? Is I would... like... I'm wondering if the kid was trying to jump him. Yeah, I'm actually kid... also interested in this large one here because I'm yeah. wondering like what the grip for the man's arm is like on on yeah. the roundabout or whatever he's holding. Yeah. Man, hey, and don't we? Off. We, we get to a point where rampaging boy. <laughs> like, is it really a superhero boy pulling him away and he's holding on now? I'm curious. Uh, all right. Yeah, he may be anchoring himself yeah. to the merry-go-round because yeah. the boy is just like, yeah. you know. So we're deciding to move this one right here? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. Like so we're going to remove this one and then what? Because I, I want to make sure we're removing the ones that were like, we make the decision. That We've got that five to print, remove right? this round. We're planning. We have to make, we have to, we have to move it. I, I concur. We... This one. This one. All right. I so, agree. And then what? Not, I'm not going to argue with you. No, we'll figure out. Well, there may be dots. Under, I think there's going to be bubbles underneath this. Oh, one. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, I'll, 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 you move it. I think the intention is to re reveal the intensity of the grip. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. See to, sweat, to sweat his we, point. Thank you. Remove a couple on the man's face to see if he's anguished or happy. Yeah, that can help too. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's take, well, that didn't help. No, no. I'll do okay, with this two one. more. Whoa. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. He is in pain. He is not happy. <laughs> All right. So that's three. Right? They are playing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At what point do how we many, do we how just? How many have we got left? Two more. Two more. Can, can we come in here somewhere to really reveal that grip? Yeah. Where my hand is. Where yeah. we're. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't moved one yet. I don't think I'll move that. Oh, right. one. oh yeah. gosh, they're really layered, aren't they? Yeah. They want us to think I about this. I see fingers. This. I think. No. Nope, yeah, I see fingers. It. Yep. The wrist that's missing. <laughs> one more. One more. Yeah, let's there do it. There we go. That one? That's the one, Tim. Yeah. All right. Ah, come on. Somebody's going to have to move it for me. It's, it's, it's locked. There you go. Oh. All right. Ooh, uh, oh, he's so holding on thing. underneath. Yeah. Wouldn't have guessed that. Mm -hmm. Means the boy's trying to pull him off. Okay. And it's not roundabout spinning as well. <laughs> it is. This is an application of centrifugal force. Insane. All right. So, description the end of this round and round three. What do we want to describe this? I can see a motion blur. Just saying. Yeah. Don't let go is all I can say. <laughs> yeah. Level, don't let go. But describing Please the don't picture. Go. A little panic. How, you, how would you describe the, the. How did he put it? Michael had a better version of it. Like, remove the number of circles. And provide your best description of the picture under the description. So describing the picture. I'm thinking something happened here that I don't think there's anything new. I mean it's uh yeah. No new I don't think the boys is terrified. I think the boy is happy and the father's a little terrified, like he might let go. Yeah. I see a little bit more joy in the kid now. In learns to I'm, I'm just I, I, <laughs> having thrown my kids up enough when we when they were young swimming in the pool. I'm just not boy about to learn to fly. Yeah, <laughs> like 
Without the aid of a parachute or a pair of wings. Yeah. Or right. boy discover superhero powers or something like that. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, what, at what point do we here. call CPS? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hmm. Seems like the father is terrified. Uh, child is happy. Is that accurate or... Assuming know. that's the father. He actually does seem happy. So they both seem to have a good time. Yeah, I think you're right. They're... I'm wondering though. No, nobody else is hanging on to his feet, so. Oh, yeah. He would be happier if he was being swung with the feet. That's for sure. Okay. He probably looks anguished just because he's holding on and like, <laughs> he doesn't let go of the kid at the same time, right? Yeah. Um, All right. So our decision-making process in this game or this round that's that round was kind of consensus because yeah, we were, weren't we focusing on the the, the man's grip yes that round <clears throat> yes find out more about the man yeah and now i think we just go for qual i think we got the idea i think we go for quality i think we go for like the big dots because, you know, revealing more of the picture is better. I don't know. And now like we this... have seven to remove this yeah. round. I'm just I feel saying... like this black area is really mysterious. <clears throat> more, and what more... about here as well? Like, what if there's, like, if he's trying to avoid something? What if there's, like, a little puppy up here that he's trying to avoid? There could totally be a dog. Let's yeah, remove I think, the... I think we're right. the big dogs now. Because uh, I think we got the idea. Now we can go for the yeah. How about this one? That one. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Down. How about this one? That's one. That's two. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, uh, your dog. No. Nope. Your dog. No dog. I feel like we don't need to remove those anymore. Maybe the one to the right. This one. Yeah. Don't we have seven of them now? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's three. Yep. How about this one? No. How about this one? Sure. Everyone else good with that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that was important. Look, he's got another leg. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, we revealed that the child is not missing limbs. <laughs> um, I just don't know how we're going to get more, more value except for removing the last three big dots. I mean, that's I'm, wondering, like, yeah. I'm wondering if the, if the man's foot is actually firmly planted on the merry-go-round yeah let's take a look how many more do we have three right. more three right yeah you want to take this big green one off yeah i mean i don't know yeah do it yeah yeah the green one mm -hmm. yep huh his normal leg i still think we should take the last two big blue ones off because you know I don't know. I want to see if this other foot over here is on the actual if it's resting on there or if it's like tripping. That's a good one. That's I fun. also just noticed there's a there's a bench here in the background. I wonder it doesn't look like anyone's sitting there, but I wonder if there is somebody hiding there. Like a terrified mother. No, nobody's there. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> clicking on the the thing to tell and then transparently seeing through it is kind of <laughs> cheating in this game. So whoever yeah, once, you, once you once you pick, just pick and go. Yeah. Yeah. Pick before you click. No, 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 no clicking and picking. We got no, no click and pick. So someone move two more. I vote for this big blue one. Oh hey, Steve. So you were mentioning remove the big ones for quality. Wouldn't quality be more localized on the two images that we see? And the rest is just kind of well, I'm actually thinking background. of the image revealed. Area of image revealed is what I'm thinking, not anything else. So, quantity. okay. Okay. I'm fine with the blue one. We only have like what? One more. So, two more. Two more. One. Oh, do we? Uh, oh, wait. Well, did you count this one back here that, that we saw behind or no? Um, I'm happy to cut, cut it. I mean, I didn't look behind, but All right. there we go. It, yeah, there you go. All right. All right. There's nobody there. So, what do we gain uh, in our description? of this 
We now know what this kid has limbs. Yeah. You know he has yeah. Legs. There's a bench in the background. People can sit. Em empty bench. The mother has left them. <laughs> she's probably gone to get nine. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get a first calling the ambulance bench. right now. Yeah, she's off calling the ambulance in preparation. Because it's not getting in well. <laughs> Mom is not around. Okay. We know that we know that this picture doesn't show who's like who's like like spinning them around because you can't see the side of the mirror around. That's the wait mystery. a minute. Hold on. I don't think the mom went anywhere. Somebody had to be there to take the picture. Oh, oh. maybe they had it on a timer. <sighs> and I just realized also this picture has this frame, or at least two sides of the frame on both sides, right? And there's a bunch of blue dots there. So I wonder if there's, I, I mean, it doesn't seem like, oh. but I wonder if there is anything. What, you think there's a description of those blue dots? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, going quickly down, I, I can't imagine what kind of text is there, but it does look like something could be potentially covered up. Well, let's let's leave that for the next round. Let's come over here and yeah. make sure we have the description set up. Um, so there was a kid that has limbs. There's a bench. Mom is not around or taking the picture, possibly. Is that accurate? What we want yeah. to see? And its feet are actually on the rotating thing, the Ferris wheel. Yep. We also know this playground's gonna get sued <laughs> for the accidents of what the happened. Yeah, and because it's not a plastic merry-go-round. Man, right, it's, it's, the ground is too hard. You can't expect, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say this picture might be like from the '80s or something. Yes, yes, it was before safety was everywhere. <laughs> it definitely looks like one I've played in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Merry go round. Looks like a playground where I lost my front tooth. All right. So we chose like Steve chose, and we like backed him up. Or like we saw emergent leadership emerge. Or what? What, what would you say there? Uh, uh, <laughs> More like dictatorship. <laughs> dictatorship emerged. Oh yeah. Benevolent <laughs> dictatorship. We should just go with that. I think I haven't even had a beer tonight and I'm already in this form. <laughs> Gone through so many phases of like, <laughs> we went from census to dictatorship. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Next we have 10. We can we can now do 10. So which which do we want now? No, I think we go cover... for empty. The first 10 off wins. What? What I was talking about, just poking in the black. And oh, yeah, yeah. You want to look at the yeah. black? I like that idea. I'm curious just because there are those that two one? on the side. That oh, one right what? there. Yeah, what the is being covered up in yeah. the black? How about this one? We're yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, they tricked uh -oh. me. Another circle. <laughs> want to do another circle? Yeah, circle under circle. the circle. One more circle. All right. I got another one. Okay. Oh. There's nothing there. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, All right. Yeah, I'm, I want to see this foot down here. I want to make sure it's on here because if he's just holding on, then if I mean it really could be like fear, guys. If he's if he's slipping off of here, we know he's got kind of a grip, but if he's tripping and slipping, mm. then that sure, kid could be please. flying. And he's slipping and tripping. In Chibin, I feel like we should have like in. five down here, like four down here. All right, do it. Her. All right, line. I, move one. <gasps> I see a firm do foot. Firm. Right. That looks like a pretty firm grip there. He's got his firm, yeah. his foot. All right, planted. So that's four total. What else can we reveal? All right, let's look at these big blue dots. We get the most value out of this thing. All right, that's fine. Another tree. All right, so that's six. No, it doesn't matter. Who cares? That's the that's the attitude of iterative development, right there. <laughs> Oh, move something. We forgot. Oh, put some more technical data yeah, on it. It won't matter anyway. Now we got. Let's, move some we got stuff. Let's just throw the product out to the customer. It's fine. Just release it. Just release it. Canary launch. Talk a little bit. Just get those think, last yeah. five points. I think, I think there's the lamp going on over here. Do it. You Do it, Twitter. Lamp there. All right. Okay. Everyone okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah whatever. 
if I can pick it I've, up. I've seen it enough. <laughs> Is that we have two more. It looks like a lamp, I think. I see something right here. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like a street lamp. Uh, I think parked r far away. There's like a house and then like a car, I think. Oh, and we missed the sniper. <laughs> Darn it! That's why he's spinning around so fast. He's like, right. <laughs> we spin around, we won't get shot. All right, so we got two more left. Just anything. Not yeah. even going there. <laughs> Someone pick two. For God's sake, right, there's a foot. Edit. <laughs> And another one. All right, that's two. We're done. We have feet. Houston, we have yep. feet. Yay, done. And All a right. sniper on the rooftop. So we have a man with a kid. I gotta tell you, the last iteration was pretty uninteresting. Yeah, not much going on. Anticlimactic. <laughs> what did we learn last iteration? Nothing. <laughs> there was no <laughs> sniper. Time. And that sniper was not in the window. Uh, okay. <laughs> A time so, to end uh, the product development cycle here. Yes, this decision making <laughs> process. Nothing really interested us. Yep. No more bad news. Doggle Besi that feature besides, off, please. <laughs> besides the uh, besides the lamp, lamp yeah. was was fairly. So James, are you going to show us the picture? You're just going to click and drag it and see if there's anything else we missed. Yeah, that's that yeah, done. Do that. <laughs> I think that there are lessons besides that, but I think that we can. I, I don't mind doing that. And for anyone who's playing with your teams, don't don't do this. But you stop the do video. Not do not do this at home. Yes. All right. I'm just gonna move it down here. All right. All right. So what Dude, we missed like of... a car. Yeah, but like a trash can back there and a leaf. There was a leaf, guys. I mean, Ooh, <laughs> oh, there's clearly this part. man is in anguish. <laughs> It's in front of a parking lot. Look, there's another car here as well. He's like, oh, there went my hernia. <laughs> yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. Okay. All right. Well, so, okay, fair enough. So. What did we uh what did we get out of this? Um there's there's some safety lessons to be had. <laughs> <laughs> Children need helmets. Right. Around. Children's arms cannot be held like that. <laughs> that's right. I have a I have an observation. We pretty much knew what this picture was in the first iteration. Yeah, we did. You know, and we did that by moving the big the big obstacles. You know, and I think that uh, I think maybe that's the lesson here is that you know if you can kind of tackle the big things, the important things, and it just you can refine it and make it easier down the yeah. road. Yeah, I feel like it. This is a very good game to help you understand your decision making process and to know who the dictators are going to be. <laughs> like out of the gate, like who's going to be calling the shots? Who's going to like? Who do, whose voices do we need to amplify? Who do, who do we need to draw back? Yeah, um, that's a great point. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought also that the. Um, you know, getting rid of the you know, like I said, getting rid of the big dots in the early on. You know, it was it was interesting because we went from big dots to small dots to big dots, right? Yep. We we kind of took the big dots off to kind of get a better picture of what's going on, and then we kind of went for some small dots, and then we went back to the big dots. Stephen, you spoke about quality quite a few times as well. Oh well, I was talking. Yes, yeah, so I was. I was trying to get the most picture of the picture revealed. Just that's why I was going for big dots. I had no, you know, I could have said the most trees revealed. I mean, what's the most valuable to us, right? Like right. we had to make up our own what is valuable kind of metrics because we had no real guidance. And we we went through several. We went through well, what's the grip like? We went through was he, what's his what the what's the dad's face like, right? Yeah, the grip, uh, is he the standing foot. there or not? Yeah. Right. Application, <laughs> application of inductive and deductive reasoning. Yeah, we definitely looked for for the details that would help redirect our decisions, right, if possible. Because mm -hmm. we kind right, of figured that. What's yeah. the writing on the sides? That was a good one. Yeah. So then I was like, like what? What's really going on here? Kind of thing. Are, are, are we missing anything? Kind of. Ah, uh, weak signals. 
looking for to, looking for yeah, clues looking for that weak, would give us we something. For, we went for the strong signals, and then we were looking for weak signals to try yeah. and rule things out. Yeah. Like, does he have two legs? I mean, that's <laughs> very important. <laughs> It's it also amazing. kind of it kind of seemed like that even though we were in the last two sprints we were given more more circles to choose from that didn't really matter. I mean the quantity of circles didn't really make a difference, you know, in, in the overall image. Like I said, it seemed like we already discovered what that was, and now we were just seeing if there's anything under the black or you know is mom back there on the bench, you know, just those types of things that might might be insignificant. The yeah. picture. I didn't I think, think our decision making changed very much. Like I think, you know what I mean? Like it was kind of low stakes for taking decisions seriously. We didn't fight over the decisions a whole lot. No one had a lot of vested interests in decisions. Yeah. No one got really mad at me when I just did stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think you call that a good point. Like, what's the vested interest there, right? Well, maybe maybe I'm overgeneralizing, but I think we we all were quite curious as to what the context was that we were working from and so it made the made the decision making a lot easier because it you know it there was far less at risk mm -hmm. i suppose is probably the, the best way of saying it yeah like it didn't really like i mean less at risk yeah I like that like it like it hmm. we were operating in safety we could experiment no one was getting on top of us just because we moved the blue dot instead yeah. of a green dot Good point. Yeah. And we were uh, able to achieve a relative consensus for most of what we what we determined would be a, a, a right choice yeah. in trying to improve our understanding. I think everyone got to take turns too because we're kind of consensus driven. Like, oh, yeah, okay, I, I kind of went, we went bossy the first little bit, but then I was like, you know, whatever. Yeah, oh, I, think, I think the perspective, being, sorry, go ahead. You were just being slow. Well, I think the perspective on this game that you take into it is like if you're talking about a product versus, you know, in terms of the, if you're trying to reveal the vision, like Steve brought up a, uh, the, the quality perspective in the game. And like you, you could try to reveal the most amount of the picture or you could go for what we did, which is like the details of the picture, which is like, well, what what does the client want? What are we trying to really reveal with the product? What's the most useful? What's the best that they're going to get out of it versus like, you know, uh, like believe what someone said, you know, no one's got a vested interest in us moving the, the blue, uh, the blue spheres. That's not like, it's not like it's a story or whatever, you know, or, or an Epic. It's just, we, what are we trying to do? We're trying to, uh, I'm not explaining this well. We cared a lot more about the boy than the man. <laughs> you you seem to be in a lot more peril. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like key but, features, right? That yeah. like were well, and if you guy. if you think about it, and it goes back to what, what Steve was saying is is that with we we were we were seeking to find value and quality and balance the equation on both of those things. Um, and I guess it, for for the purposes of having a client or, or you know a stakeholder reviewing what was being done, it was it was saying, hey, you know, it it, it appears that we'll get we'll get good value and a bit of quality, so that we can make a better assessment by doing this or you know by removing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had we had a lot of tests too, like a lot of theories came out, like. Is, is is the is is are they are they having fun or not? For instance, there was one right. So we looked yeah, put put some hypotheses out there. Were they was it ready on the side? And so we tried to investigate that. I think we yeah. also knew quite early on when enough was enough, right? Like we really had to probe to kind of like think of the other things that we wanted to dive into. But like by sprint one, and I think somebody said this earlier as well. Like we pretty much knew what the overall picture was. It was just that we knew that we. We had to go through the additional rounds and that's why we started looking for more detail otherwise we could have stopped there and that probably would have been enough that's true well at that point i mean yeah wouldn't you i mean you know if you, in terms of stuff that's shippable you think like after sprint one or two we could have delivered because we knew it was a boy flinging a man you know a man flinging a boy and then 
you know, done or. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I would say that that probably would meet the intent of MVP at that stage. Yeah. You know, there is a, I should change the subject too much, but this game, you know, is talking about how to, how, how to iterate on your descriptions and how to examine your decision-making process. And it says every sprint, remove the number of circles and uh, indicated in the number of circles, but it doesn't tell you to, and this, I took it as an assumption, which I'm not sure if it's part of the game or not, that we should remove discuss and then remove the circles because, you know, like in scrum, you have sprint planning, then you have the sprint. And what I noticed is, is what we were doing is we would kind of have an idea and then we would just go at it. And so I'm wondering if that was supposed to be part of the game where we were just supposed to decide, or we can also learn that, you know, work, work is emergent, right? We're going to, we're going to find things out in the process of doing it and that's okay. So we shouldn't plan too much to just do it. And so I feel like that, that you can also learn that through this game as well. Although clearer instructions would help us learn the right thing and you can modify this game for that. But anyway, it's just, just a thought. Yeah, and it was a game with no goals, too. Yeah. But there were no goals. Which oftentimes is probably better because you can, you, can, you can actually pull different aspects of learning out of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I could totally see a game where we just went after this, right? We could have just been like taking all these off, right? It could have been just the boy. All this, yeah. Right? Like, who cares about anything else? Let's get a picture of the boy, mm -hmm. right? Bam, that's our goal. Boy pictures. <laughs> so you can like modify so you can modify this game to help focus on um uh, like you talked about MVP before and so forth, or that you could you could mod I guess it, it is a game with no goals, so you could impose a goal on the game to help facilitate something that you're trying to to get out of it, I guess you could say. Wow, you know that it, <clears throat> And see that takes that takes an entirely different path of practical versus impractical constraints. And what are you missing? Oh, dang, deep meaning, lots of deep meaning. Oh, we probably better stop because we're like outside the time box. Just uh, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, speaking of that, guys, it's it's late, and thank you guys for joining us. Make sure to put comments in the low, like and subscribe, and keep on learning. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.